Hey guys, um, it's your favorite red and blue fox, Spiky McFox. Um, sorry, I literally just woke up. Um, Dobie was uh, coming to wake me up, and I don't know if he has to eat or what, but I'll figure it out. Um, so, um, I don't know if you guys remember Jersey or remember that video I made with him and Dobie. I'll probably link it down in the description box down below. Um, and my heart is racing. So, last night, I don't know what time, because when my mom saw him, something, and, oh, I'll explain it in a second. Basically, he died. Um, my mom, so what happened was, First off, a few nights ago, and for the past few nights, my parents have been saying he was breathing kind of quickly, which I did notice as well. I saw that, but I wasn't sure. It was almost like I was in denial, but at the same time I thought, oh, he's a Boston Terrier. They have weird noses, so it's hard when they breathe. And it might be something and it might go away. I didn't think too much of it, even though I was worried. But last night, um, my parents no it was technically the night before because I Jersey died last night the night before last night um, both my parents were um, my mom definitely was worried about Jersey and my dad like she was kind of thinking he might die but she was in denial my dad literally thought he was gonna die that night because the way he was acting so he snuggled him as much as he could I wish I no, would have known, but my parents didn't want to tell me because they didn't, they weren't sure, especially my dad. But even though my dad said he was going to die, you know, I don't know. It was, he was going to tell me, but it was literally after I was already in bed and everything. But yeah, um, he didn't die that night. I actually remember the next day, I didn't know anything of, about any of that, like, like I said, which was the next day, which was yesterday. Um, I remember I was feeding the dogs. Jersey was all excited. I was giving him an extra big meal because we mix wet food, wet dog food with their kibble. And I gave him extra because I just figured, hey, why not, you know? I did the same for Dobie, so don't worry, he got extra too. Um, but I, he sat, he, I mean, he does this all the time, but he sat um, before I even told him to sit because they have to sit for their food. Um, and he just ate politely. Dobie just spun around, and I was trying to get him to sit, but he was so hungry that he just spun around, and just, because that's what he does. I don't know why he spins, you guys, but he actually does spin. And, um, he, he ate his food, but he was, you know, he's a puppy, so he's, he's more vigorous about it. But, yeah, so, that happened, and then I left for work. My mom took me to work, and I didn't see Jersey all day after that because I went to work. They let me off early at the last minute from there. Well, maybe I did go home from there. From there, oh yeah, from there, um, I kinda, I think I might've come home a little bit. I don't even remember, it's been such a long day. Um, today, even today, even though I just woke up, I'm just so stressed. But basically, um, I don't remember if we came home or not. I kinda hope we did so I could've seen Jersey. Um, we, my teacher, one of my teachers at my school was telling me, and he's been there for a long time, and he was my Japanese teacher, he announced to us that he was leaving my school, Fusion, because of personal reasons and business reasons and stuff. Um, so, so I was kind of like, whoa, and he's leaving today, but I didn't know that, it was, it was confusing, but... I, so we went to go see him, and we talked, and I talked about Sophie, and I talked to him just in general, and my mom was there. We were all talking, you know. He doesn't even know about Jersey. I still have to tell him, because I didn't know until he had left the school, because what happened was, right after, right when we were getting ready to leave, he said, by the way, you guys, Maya, there's a game night tonight from 6 to 8. And I'm like, oh, I'd love to be there. Um, so, me and my mom... Drove to get food, came back, I stayed, Alex, my boyfriend, showed up because 
thankfully he was going too, which is important because of what later happens. He didn't know about it either, but he was showing up and he wanted to show up if I showed up. So, and I still got to tell my friend Leland. Oh my gosh. Um, don't worry, Leland. I'll tell you. So, basically, um, we were playing games and, um, it was like, a, almost eight o'clock and I remember me Alex this one girl at my school and two of my teachers especially one of my close teachers uh, that I talk with all the time we were all sitting around um, playing this game called spicy uno it's like a it's like uno but a bit different um, we were all playing that and all of a sudden I get a call and I was like, oh God, one second, you guys, I have to take this. And it was my mom. And when she called, I don't remember the exact words she said, but she said, did dad tell you what happened? And I didn't know my dad wanted to tell me in person. Because um, originally, apparently my dad got a call from my mom when she found out about Jersey. And he thought it was me. And he thought, oh, did Alex pick up my... And because he couldn't tell the voices. And she's like, no, that's, that's not it. This is Andrea. This is Maya's mom. This is a different thing. This is, you know. But, and trust me, Alex would never break up with me. Like, you don't know how solid we are, you guys. Um, he's, like, more solid with me than any other guy I've been with, which I love. And he's just, he's, a, he's beautiful. I mean, he's handsome. But you know what I'm saying. He's just, he's awesome. Um, I love him so much, but so basically, um, I got the call and my mom said, did you, did you, dad tell you what happened? I said, no. And I literally was shaking and I said, for some reason, I have a feeling this has something to do with Jersey. And she said, it does. And she said, what happened was she drove when she got home from dropping me off, um, she was walking in the door, and before she walked in, she usually we hear the dogs bark. And Jersey, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just so, oh my gosh. Jersey and Doby usually bark and get all excited at the front door when we come home because they can tell. Even, even before we like start opening the door, they can hear us. You know, Jersey can't because he's deaf, but he can tell when Doby gets all excited, so he'll get excited too. Um, but they usually both bark and greet us at the door my mom only heard Dobie. she walks in and she only sees Dobie, and she's like this is really strange she checks all over like the first floor and everything um she checks everywhere jersey would be and she's like well this is odd so she goes upstairs and i know this is a long story you guys i'm sorry it's been eight minutes so far but she goes upstairs and she walks in to her and my dad's room, which was open. The door was open. I'm so glad it wasn't closed because sometimes Jersey in the morning, he'll snuggle in the bed, my parents' bed, and then we'll close it, but we don't realize he's in there. It's like, it's, but then we realize when we get home and we're like, oh my gosh, like that's not good. I mean, it's hard to notice because he's snuggling and he, he buries himself under the covers, but you know, he gets stuck sometimes, but it's not that we forget him. It's just, we all have things to do, you know, but Basically, I, um, she, well, she came in and she saw a jersey just laying there, just all still. I want to show you guys a picture, but YouTube might not let me, and I don't want to scare you guys, because it's, it's not a scary image, but basically he was lying on his side just kind of like this, which he would do sometimes if he was really lazy, but he would get up right away if he heard us coming home or something like that. Well, he didn't really hear, but you guys know what I'm saying. He did have a little bit of hearing, but you know. But he was just there, not breathing or anything. His tongue was purple, so he might have been dead for a little while. And his eyes were open. Because Boston's, I think, we have a feeling he might have closed his eyes, but Boston, since they have such bulgy eyes, it's hard, like, and she heard from other people, it's hard for them to keep their eyes closed when they're dead. So, I don't, not saying he died like that, but he was, like, laying peacefully like this, and he was laying, 
the thing about it, and my mom explained this to me, and I didn't think about this, but the thing about where he was laying is he was laying, and I'll show it to you guys later on, but he was laying in the pathway of, um, sorry, my mom's texting me. He was laying in the pathway of my parents' bedroom that we all walked because it was a soft spot. He wanted to die in a soft spot because that's the only place in the house with carpet besides like my room or the art room, but those places were closed. The doors were closed. And he wanted to lay where we walked. And, you know, because it was like he knew he was dying. I think he knew he was dying for a few days. But he just, he wanted to lay down and just be kind of almost where we were, even though we weren't home. And he was just there. He was so still. And, um, yeah. He was, he, I think he knew. He was dying. He, I think he did. He was prepared. I think he would have waited for us, but he couldn't. But my mom told me it's so, like, it's such a symbol. Not, that's not the right word, but it's so interesting to her because when she found him, she was the first to find him. And even though we all love Boston Terriers because of Jersey and stuff, she's the one who's had Boston Terriers before, like, in her life as she grew up. And they're so symbolic to her. That's what the word was, symbolic. So it was kind of like for her to find him first was just kind of like a symbol. Like, I don't remember exactly what she said about it, um, but it was just kind of like, whoa. Um, but yeah, so that happened. My dad was going to tell me, um, but when she told me, I was literally bawling. Everyone else had to go because it was late and everything, but they said, don't worry, Maya. Like, I'll see you later. And I hope you get through this, you know. And Alex was just there. He was upset because he met Jersey. He was so upset and he was just holding me. And um, I was just bawling. And yeah, I, I still have to announce to a few more friends of mine if they haven't, if they aren't going to be watching this video at this moment, they probably will, but I'll probably send it to them or talk to them about it anyways. The hard part is when I text people, I'm like, Jersey just died. I don't want to say it like that, but it's hard for me to explain it. Like, I feel like saying, Jersey just passed away yesterday, but it's kind of like, I also want to tell, but another problem for me is like, should I tell them in real life? Should I wait? You know, stuff like that. You know, I just, but it's hard when you're grieving. I'm not saying it's a good excuse, but it's true. Like, it's, I don't know what to do. I really don't. So it's kind of like, if I do it like that, I'm not saying it's best because they might be upset. You know, it's kind of like you don't want to tell someone something tragic about this over text, but I have to tell them like, hey, it's hard for me to understand this right now. I just need to get it out there for you guys as best as I can, you guys do. Uh, but I have to get it out there for you guys and I just need to tell someone. It just gets it off my chest. I know it's not the best way to tell it through text, but I just need to say it because I want you to at least know, you know, because everyone New Jersey, even Sophie. And actually, Sophie's mom, this is a really iconic part. Because when, when Jersey died, I imagine that Sophie, she knew, she knew Jersey. And she even knew Dobie. But um, I imagine, like, Jersey running to her, and she said, Jersey, and, like, she was, like, you know, hugging him, and they were snuggling. And her mom said to, because um, my dad posted about Jersey, she said, um, Sophie met him at the at the gates of heaven and I thought that's true too like I didn't when I imagined it I didn't I thought they were already inside but I guess like I didn't see the gates in the background but like I feel like they did and and she my dad said he, he imagined her saying what are you doing here but yeah it's they're definitely up in heaven and same with same with like you know my Bird Zippy, I have to tell you guys more about her. She was, she was a cockatiel. She was so sweet. My grandma's dog, Angel, who was a um, American Eskimo. Um, let's see. My three cousins, Michael, Maxwell, and Joelle, who died all at once. It's really tragic. I'll tell you guys later. But, yeah. Um, let's see. Many others, basically. I can't cover them all, but, you know, it's not like it's limited to that amount. But, yeah. Um, so, anyways. Oh, another thing. And I'm probably going to keep talking about more things. And I want to talk about his memories because some he had some good memories. And 
um, some silly ones and stuff. So I'm probably going to be talking about that. But um, you guys have probably seen my drum set. So last night, my dad was downstairs after this all had happened when we were about to take Jersey to the hospital, um, to the vet, because you have to take him or else they could decompose. It's, it's gross. I shouldn't explain it, but you guys have probably gone through similar things. Um, in fact, shout out to, um, I hope this is appropriate to say, but shout out to my friend, um, my friend, um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I can't think straight. My friend Bo, she was the one I did the, the video for her and her dog Pepper, I'll also leave that in the description down below. Um, so it's kind of like, I know what you're going through, man. I knew what you were going through before because I felt really sad, but I never experienced it. Because guys, I've never had a pet dog die that I, like I've had dogs die like, um, like my relative's dog, but I've never had one of my own die because, well, I have, like, and I'll, I'll end the video in a bit, but, and I'll explain this Boston in a second, but my first dog that I ever had that I know of, Squirt, he was a Chihuahua. Um, he, my dad and my mom loved him, especially my dad, because he's the one who picked him out, because what happened was there was a circle of people, like, handing out crop like passing around dogs because it was like a dog giveaway thing. I don't know the exact details, but when Squirt got to my dad, his name wasn't Squirt at the time, he sat on, he was on my dad's chest and he fell asleep and he started peeing and that's why my dad called him Squirt. So when my dad passed him back around, he got upset that he was not on my dad and everything. My dad's like, okay, that's the dog. He died when I was probably three, but the thing is he ran away on like, Christmas Eve night, I believe, because my d he was a loyal dog, and unlike any Chihuahua, he didn't bark, and he wasn't a jerk, but, and he had his, he didn't, he was never neutered, um, sorry, but he ran, because my dad thought, always thought, well, he's a good dog, he doesn't need to be on the leash, but I'm not blaming you, Dad, it just, that's what happened, and we think he was, he's Lord of the Coyotes now, we don't know, um, but otherwise, the dogs I've had, I've always had Jersey after that, but sometimes we've taken dogs, we bought other dogs, but then we realize we can't keep them, so we give them away. We know the owners, like we also know the owner of my cat Molly, I got her when I was really little, and she knew Jersey, um, but we had so many dogs that made him kind of get angry with Molly, because like my dog Fudge, oh, he would torment, the, it's a long story, I'll tell you guys in another video, but basically we've had other dogs, but we've given them away. So it's like I've never had a dog that I can remember die in my own house, like literally in my own household too, or even in general. So it's kind of like, it's a lot. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's my first time experiencing it, but yeah, so shout out to Bo. I know what you're going through now. I know especially what you're going through, um, even more so than I under, could try to understand before. But um, this Boston Terrier, I don't remember when I got him or where I got him. I think I got him at the Brookfield Zoo, but it was a few years ago. Um, Jersey, I think, sniffed him, probably. Um, he was, I got him in it because it reminded me of Jersey. I, we have a drum set downstairs, and I sat him, like, right in front, like, by the cymbal, so he was kind of like this. Um, but he was kind of like, you know when people put hood ornaments on their car or stuff like that? He was like the hood ornament for my drum set. Um, and my, he was, he'd been there for years and I don't le like to leave plushies around like that because it's like, even though I'm older, they still ha have like close resemblance. They still mean so much to me. And I feel like it's almost like a child of mine. And I feel like if I leave it, it, it hurts, especially like plushies I'm really close li with, like my pr plushie, like my plushie Rexy. I'll explain his story, um, someday, but my dad found this guy and I was like why did I forget about you I don't I didn't mean to forget about you but like this I've been carrying around since and this was last night so I've been holding him I'm probably gonna put him in my backpack when I go to work stuff like that speaking of which I have to get ready in a second but um yeah so it's gonna definitely remind me of Jersey but I will say Jersey used to have a marking where it was like this and then like like 
this. So it looked like, to me, I always thought, and I'll draw it out or show you a picture someday, you guys. It looked like, to me, it always looked like a shaggy white dog, because it was a white patch, with a point on his head. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I love that. And that, I always remember that. And I always remember Creighton, my friend Cammy or Sunny, you guys should know about her. Um, we, I think I either told her about this or she saw it. Jersey would always lick his back foot and he would lick this specific toenail. The one toenail, I think it was the one toenail he had that was a black toenail and all the rest were pink. And he would lick it and we would be like, oh my gosh, he's so specific about that toenail. It was the best. And then we made up a, the Totoro theme song. We switched it and we were like, Jersey's toe, Jersey's toe. It's, it's the best. I'll show it to you guys someday. Um, but yeah, so that was... Oh, so many memories. Um, but yeah, so I'm, yeah, I have to get going. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I am going to be making music videos for him. And I'm still doing that for Sophie. But for Sophie, I'm probably going to private them for a while. Because I don't want her mom to see them right away. Because she's going through so much. And I feel like by doing that, it's kind of like disrespectful. And I don't want to be disrespectful in any way. You know, especially because I did do a video next to her gravestone, but I don't mean it in a disrespectful way. It's just how I mourn. But, um, so I'm probably not going to post this right away. And I have to still edit them. I still have to work on my video. I haven't even started on the one for Bonaire. So, remind me, you guys. I have to do that as well. I'm going to do music videos for Jersey and for Sophie. They're pretty much going to have most of the same songs, especially the Pe Temple of the Dog songs. But, um, they're going to have those and some similar otherwise but yeah so um yeah that's gonna be coming up i was gonna do a first suit friday video um this week but i don't know if i'm capable of doing it anymore unless it involves memories of jersey or something because i this just happened you guys don't it's just it just happened it was hard enough when sophie died and I couldn't even do First of Friday videos then. And before then, I was just lazy. Because I was, well, not just lady, not lazy. I was busy, too. So, But, yeah, so I'm not trying to ramble on, you guys. I'll try to make a video, but it'll probably be of me mourning, basically. Or me talking about Jersey and Sophie. So just bear with me, you guys. And I know you guys are very loyal, loyal subscribers. So please continue to be that way. It means so much to me. And please, even though... Jersey and Sophie have both passed on. Please pray for them and pray for my family. Pray for Sophie's family. Just please, even if you're not a prayer, just please do, if you wouldn't mind. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video.